हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जावा इंटरव्यू गाइडेंस दिस इज योर महेश टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज स्प्रिंग बूट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड अ गाइडेंस ऑन इंटरव्यू लेवल विद द स्प्रिंग बूट कॉन्सेप्ट सो आई एम जस्ट लाइक वट आर द टॉप टेन बेसिक इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आस्ट बाई द इंटरव्यू ओवर इन द स्प्रिंग बूट लेवल सो जस्ट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द स्प्रिंग बूट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सी दीज आर द टॉप टेन स्प्रिंग बूट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आस्ट बाई द इंटरव्यू ओवर्स इन द जावा इंटरव्यूज Um, just going through one by one all the spring boot interview questions and just i'm giving brief idea about what is spring boot spring boot is mainly uh, simplifying the implementation of the spring application development with the java based uh, applications level so now what is the it has a lot of more features introduced in spring boot if you go to the now in my next video i'm going to talk about the spring boot overview of a spring boot and features of the spring boot and all not like all interview level i'm just giving a basic concept level on the spring boot level uh, in my next video i'm going to prepare that one i am giving that overview to the uh, all the users now currently i am going to discuss today the spring boot interview questions what are the top in, uh, spring boot interview questions asked by the interviewers i'll just start with uh, first question like what is a uh, spring boot and why should we use it so uh, earlier i told like just what is a spring boot spring boot is mainly simplifying the our java application development with the spring uh, mvc features whatever we have spring rest and spring web and all so nowadays we now earlier days we work with the spring web mvc spring mvc spring rest implementation level that time we don't have uh, like kind of any auto configurations everything dependency management features simply we are adding all the libraries into our project path we are using those libraries and we are uh, explicitly telling to the container to use this kind of libraries now it is simplifying the entire architecture by using this auto configuration feature along with uh, it also supporting with the uh, uh, embedded tomcat it will uh, build up with the will be default while working with the spring boot you can you don't want explicitly configure tomcat server or any other web logic server yeah, by default it will comes with one or uh, uh, <coughs> three default uh, embedded servers like uh, tomcat um, jetty undertow these kind of uh, uh, servers will be embedded with it within this uh, spring boot application container so by it will run with the basic java application level we can write one main method with the java class and we can execute that uh, main method or uh, main method within the spring boot application so it will uh, create one jar and uh, execute it into the tomcat level by default it will execute the Tom tomcat server so i'm coming to the uh, next question uh, what are some are in the some are the you know, some of the important features of using uh, by using spring boot so what we are going to get well, what is the purpose of using spring boot so this question they might ask like what is the purpose to go for the spring boot what is the features so these are the features like starter dependency uh, auto configuration spring initializer and spring actuator so what is the starter dependency starter dependency is like while well, creating a spring boot project uh, through sts or eclipse we need to provide spring boot with uh, some of the basic uh, spring boot uh, dependencies like spring boot starter spring boot starter web and spring boot starter test these are the basic uh, dependencies we need to provide within our Uh, to write a spring boot application so it will makes us a spring boot container is up and run and we need for the basic set of our uh, spring boot application level and what is auto configuration auto configuration again is like enabling the our configurations all the en enable auto configuration to provide all the configurations to our within my application level it will just enable all the uh, configuration level and what is spring initializer this is the uh, this is what i was just talking about we we'll need to create a spring boot project we need a support for spring boot spring initializer so what it will do it will create a spring initializer will uh, gives us a like boilerplate uh, kind of a implementation of a skeleton kind of a spring boot project initially by providing all dependencies main main method with java class and basic uh, properties and all it will provide so you can based on the skeleton we can create our own implementation with the spring boot project and what is spring boot actuator actuator is like a kind of a debugging purpose in the spring boot application if you want to do like what are the how many uh, <coughs> bean instances got created by uh, spring boot container you wanted to do some debugging and logging things we can use this metric system spring boot actuator provide some kind of a metric system to capture all these uh, debugging information we'll uh, begin to this more it will be the conceptual topic we need to uh, look into these things in uh, future uh, my future videos coming to the next one what is the difference between spring at spring boot application and at enable auto configuration application we can say just earlier i told at the at enable auto configuration is mainly used to enable all our configuration in the within my spring boot application level and we coming to the well what is the what is this spring boot application what is any at spring boot application is like combination of all of this at configuration at component scan along with enable auto configuration either within our application we can just provide at spring boot application or we can use all three annotation uh, as a combination of uh, it will be the build up on at spring boot application only 
So either one you can use or three you can use. All three will be the same kind of things. Either these are one, they are three. Uh, coming to the next question, what is Spring Boot CLI? <coughs> Spring Boot CLI means command line interface. What is Spring Boot? CLI? So where we can uh, execute our Spring Boot project through command prompt. So what is the like? Uh, we can say like our uh, Spring Boot project in the sense we uh, suppose we want our uh, develop some groovy project uh, with the uh, support of Spring Boot. We can just usually simply develop by using Spring Boot command line interface, and it's also a very powerful feature to directly packages needs to be loaded by using default. We don't want to provide anything explicitly. Spring Boot will defaultly load all the packages. For example, if you want to load some JDBC template, it can automatically load that for you. You don't want to do anything by using the Spring Boot CLI. And what is the next question like? Can you change the port of embedded Tomcat server in Spring Boot? If yes, how? So yes, we can change that uh, embedded Tomcat server port within our uh, uh, <coughs> Spring Boot application level by adding property called server.port in our application properties file. Just uh, in the application properties file, you can just write server.port equal to 8081, 8082, like the different different ports. You can configure and you can use it different ports. What are embedded containers does Spring Boot support? So earlier I already told initially Spring Boot support three kind of embedded servers like Tomcat, JT and Undertow. By default it uses Tomcat as embedded container but you can change it to JT or Undertow anytime. What are some common Spring Boot annotations? Like uh, earlier we seen some of the best most common uh, Spring Boot annotations like enable auto configuration, Spring Boot application, Spring Boot test. Like same earlier we discussed like enable auto configuration again used to enable the auto configurations for the Spring Boot application. Along with the Spring Boot application is also a uh, combination of all these uh, three co uh, with thread configuration, with thread enable con auto configuration, with thread components. Can. It mainly this annotation is purpose to execute our jar file by using main method. And also one what is that uh, Spring Boot test. In Boot test is mainly used our unit test cases. Within our test case implementation within our Spring Boot application, those will be executed by using this annotation. Can you name some of the common Spring Boot starter pops? Yeah, I already we discussed these things. Spring Boot starter, Spring Boot starter web, Spring Boot starter test. These are the basic uh, what are the forms level dependencies we need to provide while creating our basic Spring Boot application. You can just enable by this main advantage of Spring Boot starter web is to enable our Spring Boot MET feature to our Spring Boot level, Spring MEC feature to our Spring Boot application level. So can you control logging with Spring Boot and how? Yes, we can control our logging with Spring Boot by specifying some of the log levels in the application or properties file, right? Simply you can write it about log level or de either debug or info through by using our log dot logging dot level dot uh, called the spring framework or demo kind of thing. You can just uh, write a debug or info uh, information or error thing. We can log all the log log files into uh, log th logging things into our Spring Boot application. And the last question. What are the main design? Now, we, as of now, we are seeing all of the advantages, kind of features and advantages of Spring Boot. And mainly, there are the disadvantages, right? What are the disadvantages of Spring Boot? They will ask, like, what are the disadvantages? Spring Boot include a lot of dependencies that are not used, so it's causing huge deployment. Like, we can see uh, earlier, we started with the Spring Boot application. That time, we added Spring Boot starter, starter web, and starter test. Uh, our basic dependencies we added. Some of the things might be we are not using, but still we included it in the Spring Boot project. That will make huge deployment file size uh, while deploying to the production level. Also, while migrating, like we have legacy application now, Spring MVC, MVC, MVC application. So we want to migrate it to like Spring Boot application. It's not that easy task to go on. It's simply to uh, MVC monolithic structure to the Spring Boot structure. It's a little. We need a lot of uh, effort and time consuming process also. And also, we have don't have proper control on our. Auto configuration, dependencies, dependency management, everything taken care of by the Spring Boot. That's why we don't have uh, complete control on our Spring Boot application. So, guys, these are the top uh, ten interview basic interview questions are uh, asked by interviewers in Spring Boot interviews, like Spring interviews are where we go Java interview level. So, later on, uh, we go into the next uh, next level of my videos. <coughs> I'm going to discuss on uh, microservices along with some of the concept level Spring Boot uh, in depth concepts along with microservices. What are the uh, in depth questions on microservices and all? I'm going to discuss. Keep watching to my channel. This is interview guidance. This is your Mahesh. Please subscribe to my channel and and please watch. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks again.